Hey, it's Adrian, and today I want to share six really useful and handy Bixby routines to make the most out of your Samsung phone. If you're not a fan of the Bixby voice assistant, not a problem, you don't have to use it. It's completely separate from that. And once you have this implemented, I guarantee it's going to make your phone experience that much better. The first routine you should set up is one to protect your phone's battery. If you've never used routines before, it's very easy to do. We're going to pull down from the top click on the gear icon to go into settings. Then we're gonna click the magnifying glass and we're gonna type in the word routines. So let's go R-O-U. And you can see that there's an option here for routines. Go ahead and click that. Now you can see on my screen, I have preset routines that I've already made, but let's go ahead and create the first routine that I spoke about, which is to protect battery life. So we're gonna click plus up here and we're gonna create a condition. So the condition is gonna be if and we're gonna go down to the battery level. So if the battery level is equal to or greater than 99, so let's do 99, 99, done. Then we want the battery to be protected. Now we're gonna go into protect battery and turn that on and let's click done. Save and you can give it a name. So you could call it battery level or battery protection. I'm gonna call it battery level. I'll just pick a color. And what this is gonna do is whenever the battery life or battery level goes to 99%, the phone will no longer receive electricity to charge a battery, which will prevent overcharging. Now, this phone does have this feature natively in here, but it stops at 85%. If you want it higher than 85%, go ahead and set up this routine. You can see that the charging is now paused at 99% because we've set up that routine and if you take a look at the voltage or wattage coming into the phone everything's reading at zero so you can rest safe that your battery is not going to be overcharged have you ever forgotten to charge your phone before you go to bed at night well no problem because with this routine you can make sure you don't wake up to a dead phone or almost dead phone and this is how you do that this routine called forgot to charge i'm going to show you the settings and you can go ahead and create your own so we're going to say that if the time period is between 12 a.m. to 8 a.m. So for example, I go to bed between this time. So at midnight to 8 a.m., let's say I'm sleeping. And you can pick which days it's gonna apply to and you could even turn off during public holidays. But let's just leave it at that. So every night between midnight to 8 a.m., if the charging status is not charging, means you did not remember to plug your phone in or put it on a wireless charger, then we're gonna turn on power saving. Power saving is gonna be on. We're gonna reduce the screen brightness to 5%. We're gonna turn off Bluetooth, turn off Wi-Fi, and turn off location. Because we're gonna be sleeping during this time, we can turn these services off to preserve battery life. So in the morning, our phone is not gonna be completely dead. If you connect your phone to your car while you drive and you want a really hands-free experience, this is the routine that I would recommend. Now, if you're driving, again, this is my car, so I have a Sonata. And what I'm gonna do is if Bluetooth device, and then you could click down here, and pick different devices. So you can just pick whatever your car name is once you have it paired. So if connected by Bluetooth to my car, which is a Sonata, then turn off Wi-Fi because I'm in my car, I don't have Wi-Fi, turn on mobile data because I do need it while I'm out. And if you have you know, passengers in the vehicle, you can actually turn on your mobile hotspot. I like to do that so people can connect to my data. Again, if you have a lot of data, do that. And you may want your screen brightness to be really high because if you're driving and it's sunny, the screen might be a bit dull. So I like to have my brightness at 100. And to keep things pretty much hands-free, I can have the, the phone read my messages out aloud. And if I click in here, I can pick the apps where I want to receive notifications read out to me. Of course, you can add other options if you like. So you can see here that I can go to edit and I can add more conditions or remove conditions as I like. If you're finding these routines helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps me out, but let's get into the next one. All right, so it's a really long day of work or a school and you just wanna wind down and relax in bed. Here's a routine that won't kill your eyes. When you're winding down, the screen on these phones get really bright. So say I'm in bed by 10 p.m. and I'm going to bed at midnight. So for two hours when I'm in bed, laying down on my side, kind of lazing around, I want the screen brightness to be set to 10% and of course you can adjust that, but let's say I'm gonna leave it at 10% because it's way too bright at night. I wanna turn on the eye comfort shield. And you know when you're in bed and you're kind of twisting and turning side to side, the auto rotate may kick in and that can be kind of annoying. So you can force the screen orientation to be in portrait mode. And of course I'll probably be at home so I don't want mobile data 
on if I'm already at home. So you could go ahead and do that. And again, like with any other routine, you can go ahead into edit, remove any of these conditions or add other conditions. If you're mostly at home or if you work from home, you may not want your phone locked while you're at home. So here's a routine for that. If you wanna keep your phone unlocked while you're at home, you can set it up by Wi-Fi. So we're gonna go into this Wi-Fi home unlock and you could see my if condition is if I'm connected to a Wi-Fi network, called this name. And of course I could add other Wi-Fi networks. Say I go from different houses, then keep my phone unlocked and keep my mobile data turned off. Because if I'm on Wi-Fi already, I don't need mobile data unless I'm using fast network switching. And you could see that if I go ahead and close my phone and then I just double tap, it's a simple swipe to unlock it. I don't need to put in a pin or anything like that. Just make sure you don't have any nosy roommates or family members with this one. This last routine is super handy to have. So imagine you're the DJ for the party and you're outputting music to a Bluetooth speaker, but you still wanna go on your Instagram, TikTok, whatever, but you don't want that media playing on those apps to come through the speaker. Here's how you handle that. To specify sound output from different devices or different apps, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into this Bluetooth app sound. And of course, I just called it that. You could call it whatever you want. So my if condition is gonna be if Bluetooth device is connected and this speaker is called a Cleverbrite. So if connected to this Cleverbrite, what we're gonna do is we're gonna then separate the app sound. So apps like Instagram, Twitch are gonna be through the phone. Everything else is gonna be through Bluetooth. So I'm just gonna go ahead and edit this to remove it and then I'm just gonna show you how that works. So then, and then we're gonna go into sounds and vibration and we're gonna go into separate app sound and then for the phone, these are the apps that we want. So I want Instagram, I want TikTok and I want Twitch to all output sound from the phone while every other app will output from the speaker. To see this in action, I'm gonna play this YouTube video and the sound is gonna output from the speaker. It's Adrian and let's talk about the brand new S23 Ultra and if it's worth the upgrade from the S22 Ultra, which is already a pretty solid. So you can see that I was able to output YouTube to the speaker and while I was in Instagram, it was outputting the audio to the phone. I hope these routines were helpful and if there's any routines that you guys have, please share them down in the comments down below. I'm sure others would love to read them and try them as well. There's really endless combinations of these routines and it makes these Samsung phones that much more versatile. Thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one soon.